guys, this is Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com and we have the Easy Goal all set up here. And what we're doing today is a review of the Easy Goal backstop. What that is, is a backstop that you can put around any hockey net, that is 6x4, and what it will do is stop your pucks from going over the fence and into your neighbor's yard, breaking your garage windows, anything like that. So it just uh, keeps you from chasing the pucks down when you miss by an inch. So that's what we're going to do, we got the backstop right over there, we'll set it up and we'll show you what it looks like and do a full review. I have the Easy Goal frame all laid out on the asphalt and I actually do recommend using the owner's manual for this one because each piece has its own number and they have some funky way that they're all supposed to fit together and basically all you gotta do with these ones is the same as with the net push those in, put it in there and then it snaps into the hole so that's an easy way to set it up and we'll get this all put together and then start putting the mesh on it. Basically all you have to do to lace it up really quickly is put your hand there and it holds all this side uh, nice and tight and you're supposed to do every other square, so you just drape this string over, reach through this hole, pull it all the way through, flip it over, pull it all the way through again, just reach through the hole, flip it over, and pull it nice and snug, grab it, and go to the next one, and just keep on doing that. And that's going to save you a good 20-30 minutes after you're done with both nets, because uh, lacing them up takes the longest time. So there's a little shortcut for you guys, and I'll show you what this looks like when I got it all set up. We're looking good so far. Got both of the uh, side stops all set up, snapped together, laced up. All we have to do now is figure out how to put this across the top. And once we do that, we'll be ready to go, start shooting, and we'll test this puppy out. In order to attach the backstop to the goal post, all you have to do is grab one of these bolts that comes with it, and you put it through there. They've got a wing nut. You tighten it up, and there's one on the top and one on the bottom. And that's pretty simple. Here's another point is make sure that this bolt head is on the inside of the goal post. That just means if you have the wing nut on the inside, if you hit that wing nut, it's going to either unscrew or break. And then you might have to go buy a new bolt, which is not a big deal. It just uh, makes it simpler. And also, if you have your own hockey net, that is not an easy goal. I am guessing that you would have to drill your own holes. So that's not a big deal either. You just need a uh, power drill and drill a bit. So there you go. Uh, almost done. Here we have it, the Easy Goal foldable hockey net along with the Easy Goal backstop. And this is what it looks like all set up. I think this is a pretty sweet idea. I can't count how many pucks I lost playing hockey on my pond. Probably a few hundred at least, so I could have saved some money. We'll take a look at the uh, quality right here. It's a uh, good solid steel and uh, nice and snug. So you know, it won't come separate from there. It's uh, you know bolted on right there. Not a lot of room for uh, pucks to go through as long as you have it netted up properly and laced up. And the same thing here, nice and snug. Uh, there's the net fairly snug up the top. Take a few shots at that. And same thing, this is kind of neat. Uh, if you want to change the angle, you just pick it up and turn it. And if you want to shoot from this angle, you have a little bit of uh, forgiveness right there on the side in case you miss. So that's pretty cool. And also, you can fold it the other way if uh, you, you want to fold the net all up. I'll show you what that looks like later, but first I want to rip some shots at this and see what it looks like, so let's do that. I'm going to take a few wrist shots, a few slap shots at the backstop, see how it holds up, and I'll do a few light ones, a few easy ones, and basically just aim right for the backstop. It worked, and I got my puck back too, that's cool. I'll go for the uh, top part now. This is nice, I get to keep shooting the same puck. I think the top part works pretty good. My wrist shot's about 55 miles per hour, so I'll really rifle one right into the top part. Looks good. Good. Nice. If you guys are curious, we are shooting off the hockey shooting pad. If you want to see a full review, hop on our website. We've got a coupon if you want to buy one. And right now I'm going to take a few slap shots and just see how the uh, side parts hold up the slap shots. And my slap shot is usually around 70 to 75 miles per hour and see what happens here. <laughs> I 
I've emptied this bucket a number of times into the easy goal, and I'm just shooting off that hockey shooting pad there. And it's uh, worked pretty well. You can see there's pucks all over the place. There's just one problem i got to show you, and that would be this hole right here, and right there, and over here, and right there. And I think the problem is that the mesh is so tight. All of those shots were with my slap shot, though, and my slap shot, shot's usually around 75 miles per hour. Um, not all of them were full power, but yeah, I just, I think that the net is just way too tight, and it's all that tension, and I've shot into a lot of nets before, and the number one rule, hang them nice and loose, because I was hammering my slap shot and wrist shots into this, and there are no holes at all, it worked really well, and flung the pucks back, so I think it's just because the, uh, meshing is so tight, so that's the, uh, one thing, if you have a really hard shot, just lay off the, the side targets and go for the net, but yeah, if um, you have kids and stuff, I think this would work really well. And I'll give you my overall thoughts now. Overall, I love the easy goal. It folds up. It's a really cool net. I love the net. Uh, I like the backstop as well. It's a great idea. Just if you have a really hard shot, then chances are you will put a few through the uh, side meshing here because it's so tight. The top meshing is fine. It's nice and loose. So I'm saying if you order the uh, easy goal and the backstop together, if you have a really hard shot, then just find something else to hang in here, which wouldn't be too hard to find some uh, netting somewhere. And if you have kids, it's going to be fine. Chances are they're going to have a great time here. And I know I really could have used a backstop like this when I was a kid because uh, my accuracy wasn't that great, right? So there we go. I love the easy goal. The backstop is good, great. If you want to pick up a easy goal or the backstop, you can head over to our website. We've got a full review there, and we've also got a coupon and a link to where you can buy this. So head over to the website and check it out. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.